Hello, friends. Welcome to today's Daily Devotion. I'm Kerry Wood from the Goldston Methodist Church in Goldston, North Carolina. It's Friday, and we are wrapping up this week of looking at Psalm 150 and the wonderful hymn of Charles Wesley that alludes to that psalm of singing and giving our praise to God. Now, yesterday I wrapped up the three verses that we find in our hymnal about let every breath, let praise the Lord who reigns above. I'll get it right here in a second. So today for Friday, what I want to do is go to a different hymn. This is hymn number one in our great Redeemer's praise, and it is O for a Thousand Tongues to Sing. Now, this one is a hymn of Charles Wesley that every person of a Methodist persuasion should know and love. It is one of the most prevalent of all of Charles Wesley's hymns. And as I read these words, perhaps you will understand why. Oh, for a thousand tongues to sing my great Redeemer's praise, the glories of my God and King, the triumphs of His grace. My gracious Master and my God, assist me to proclaim, to spread through all the earth abroad the glories of thy name. Jesus, tis the name that charms our fears, that bids our sorrows cease. Tis music in the sinner's ears, tis life and health and peace. He breaks the power of canceled sin. He sets the prisoner free. His blood can make the foulest clean. His blood availed for me. He speaks and listening to his voice, new life the dead receive. The mournful broken hearts rejoice. The humble poor believe. Hear him. Ye deaf, his praise, ye dumb, your loosened tongues employ. Ye blind, behold your Savior come, and leap, ye lame, for joy. Glory to God, and praise and love be ever, ever given by saints below and saints above, the church in earth and heaven. Now that is only seven of the full 18 verses that Wesley wrote when he wrote this hymn of praise. And the occasion for this was when he had a life-changing experience when he felt the assurance of God's forgiveness and love poured into his soul. You see, Charles Wesley grew up in the faith, but on that day in May of 1746, I think, I'll have to go double check that because I'm doing this off the top of my head, he experienced this wonderful expression of love and assurance of God's grace and oh, for a thousand tongues to sing was the result. He wanted more than just his one tongue, his one voice to praise God because he felt such an overwhelming gratitude and joy in God's saving grace in his life. And you and I, we can receive that same assurance, that same understanding, that same God's Spirit speaking to our spirit to know we are loved. We are forgiven. And therefore, we can truly Praise the Lord with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength to have a praising to the Lord with everything that we are. I love how Charles Wesley uses the idea of contrast as he expresses this praise. Hear him, ye deaf. Deaf people, they're deaf because they can't hear. Give his praise, ye dumb. This is the old word to express the inability to speak, not a lack of intelligence in the mind. And so think about dumb from that perspective, not being able to speak, but now give praise with your voice, your loosened tongues employ. You blind, behold your Savior come. Behold is to see, a blind person to now see, and leap ye lame for joy. A lame person, they have no movement, they're paralyzed, so to leap for joy. All of these are expressions of what you can't do, now suddenly you can. That 
is what Jesus does in us. You and I, we are crippled, spiritually speaking, even if we don't have a physical crippling like Charles Wesley just described in that verse. But know this, no matter what our crippling, no matter what our handicap, no matter what our shortcoming, God heals, restores, and fixes. And so we can indeed give God complete, full, joyous praise. We at Goldstone Methodist Church are striving to be a people of praise to the Lord, and we invite you to come join us. We worship at 185 Hillcrest Avenue in Goldston, North Carolina. At 10 a.m., we have our Sunday School Faith Formation Groups. At 11 a.m., we have praise and worship. Come be with us. If you can physically get here, we invite you to do so. If you can't be with us in person, then you can join us virtually. We live stream with Facebook at 11 a.m., and then we post our services onto YouTube. And if that's the only way you can join us, then please do so. But no matter what, no matter where you may be, I invite you to praise the Lord, to be like Charles Wesley and wish you had more than one tongue to give praise to God. Oh, for a thousand tongues to sing my great Redeemer's praise. And I saw you... And I'll see you next week for another series of devotions based on a wonderful hymn from Charles Wesley.